Hello everyone, this is Reza from Redacad and uh, in this video I'm going to show you how you can uh, give different people the same report, same data set, but they will see different part of data. They will see only their own part of data. They will uh, have authorized section of the data set that they will have access to that. In Power BI world we call this role level security which is possible to be implemented regardless of the type of data source that you are using. So let's check it out. Okay, the Power BI report that I am going to create is based on Adventure Work Sample. You can download the file from the link of blog post that you see down under the uh, uh, video link. Uh, and from this Adventure Works dataset, I just select a couple of tables. Uh, one is a sales table, fact reseller sales. The other one is dim sales territory. I click on load, I also enable my zooming so you can see how it is working. So these are the two tables that I used, factory seller sales, dim sales, 330. Uh, once these two loaded, they will be connected to each other. So I mean related to each other based on the automatic relationship detection in Power BI. So here is my relationship diagram. As you can see, these two tables are related to each other based on the sales 330 key. Right, so I don't really need to change any relationships. Now I'm going to create a simple report here, a report with sales amount in the factory seller sales and country, sales territory country. So this is a simple column chart with sales amount and country. And beside that I create a card visual showing the total sales amount, right? So this is showing total sales amount, this is showing sales amount for every country. Now if I uh, save this report, if I publish this report with others, uh, I mean if I publish this report and share this report with others, they will see the entire content, they will see all countries. Now let's say what I want them to see is I want different people to see different countries based on their roles and configurations. So I want to share the same report but for them to see different view of that instead of creating like copies of the same report filtering it on every country which makes the maintenance really hard uh, the way that we do it is through something called row level security and why we call it row level security because this is a filter that we apply on a data row level now let's um, check where the country information is so in the data tab i can see dim sales territory table has a column for sales territory country. This is the country column that I'm showing in that chart. And countries are United States, Canada, France, Germany, all, all these countries. Now, uh, in the relationship tab also, I can see that these two tables are related to each other. Now, if you have, uh, if you are familiar with the relationship, you know that the relationship in Power BI means something. It means that, specifically the direction of relationship, it means that this table can filter that table. So if I can, for example, filter the original table and say this shows all, uh, this shows only countries which is Australia, for example, as a result, fact table, because the filtering propagates, fact table will also show Australia, right? So this filtering propagates through this relationship. So what I need to do is to put the filter on sales territory country, right? And now where we put that filter, to define the filter, you can be either in the report tab or the data tab. Uh, then in the modeling tab, there is a section for manage roles under security. I click on that. There is no role at the moment defined, so I'm going to create one. I call this one USA Sales Manager. Now you will see list of all tables and you can filter that table specifically. Now to filter a specific table, you can just click on three dots, add filter, and choose the column that you want to filter. In this case, we are going to filter sales territory country in dim sales territory. This is going to write the expression for me. This is DAX expression, but it's not a really complex DAX expression. It's just this column is equal to this value. Now, instead of value, I put United States. Uh, and this text 
this United States value should match um, with the values that you have in your uh, in your table. Otherwise, it won't filter actually anything. So I verified that tax statement. I'll create another one. Let's say this is for Australia sales manager. Same process at filter country is equal to Australia. And you have to do this process for all countries, but let's assume that we did it already, right? So this is how we created that. Then I can save it. When I save this uh, still, I would see everything. And the reason is that Power BI Desktop is the developer environment. Power BI Desktop is not an end user environment. As a developer, I can see everything, but there is a way for me to test this. And that is using view as role. So I can click on view as role. And I can say, okay, show me what USA Sales Manager will see. And when I click on that, this shows me a view of that USA Sales Manager, only $53 million sales, which is the total sales of United States only. Or if I click on view as roles and choose Australia Sales Manager, this will be Australia Sales Manager, 1.59 million. Or if someone has both of these roles, Australia and USA, will see actually both countries and the total of those countries. Uh, this is just a view test only, and you can stop that viewing anytime with clicking on this option, right? This is not how, um, uh, how user will exactly see that, because when user come, they will not see view as roles, they will actually see that as their own role, right? So there is a still one part missing, and that part is where you match or map users to these roles. And that part should be done in Power BI website. That cannot be done in Power BI desktop, right? So what we have to do is to first publish this into the Power BI website. So let me save and publish it. I am going to save this in my desktop as RLS. Uh, I just put uh, today's date at the end of it so I can go and find it. So I save this and then I publish it. Um, you can publish it to a um, organizational workspace and then share it through apps. But for this example, I just do it within my normal, my workspace. Um, I have created another video explaining about how the sharing scenario works. Uh, go and check it out. Okay, I've created that um, report and now I'm going to open it in Power BI. Let me bring my browser window here. So this is the same report opened in Power BI. Again, you will notice that I will see everything. The person who published the report is the report owner. Report owner will see everything, has full rights on the report. Um, so um, for report owner, actually the role of security doesn't apply. But now if I want to share it with others, I can set the security for them. And that is using through the data set. So you can go to data set either from workspace, selecting the data set or using the view related is always helpful because it will show you what data set is. When you click on the three dots on the data set, then you'll see the security option there, right? So it doesn't matter if you go to dataset from here or from the uh, from the dataset in workspace. So I'll go to the security, then I'll see the two roles that I have created there and I can add people under this. This can be their individual email address, like this email address I add for my other account, or it can be a group and it's always recommended to use groups because when, once you create that Office 365 groups and then in Office 365 um, uh, group section, uh, you can always take care of who is part of that group, who is not, rather than every time coming here and adding, removing people from here, right? But for this example, again, I did that individually for this user, right? So I add users under each group. You can add different users under each. Save this. Now, this is not still shared with that user because I used uh, my workspace. I haven't used apps or anything like that. And in my workspace, in that report specifically, I haven't shared it with others. So I'm going to, uh, to share it. And you can use just basic sharing or if this is with apps, using the apps. So I will share this with my other user. Uh, I uncheck all unnecessary options and share. Now I use uh, Power BI 
uh, account of my other user to show you how it's going to look like. So in my other user account, I'll go to uh, Power BI, I sign in with my other user account. Uh, because this is shared with me with basic sharing, I'll go to shared with me to see it. If it was through apps, I went to apps to see it. Now in shared with me, I see this report, I can click on it. But when I come to the report, I don't see all countries. I see only Australia because this user only allowed to see Australia. I won't have access to any other countries. I won't see e even those countries as well, at all, right? But the actual report has all of those. So this is uh, what the actual report looks like to show you. Uh, yep, here it is. So this is what the actual report looks like. And uh, the good thing about the security is that um, it's always manageable from here or from Office 365 groups that you add. So if I add that person now under USA Sales Manager as well, in the next refresh, I don't need to share it again because it is already shared. In the next refresh, immediately that user will be able to see that, right? So I have control on who has access to see which part of data in Power BI through something called rollable security. Now, uh, this method of rollable security that you have seen is called static rollable security is perfect for when you have only a few roles to define, like four or five roles for each country. But if these roles are changing a lot, if you, have, if you expect a lot of more branches to open, if you are creating much more roles, then usually you should do other approaches which are dynamic rollable security. There are different methods of doing dynamic rollable security. I have uh, written lots of blog post articles about that, but I'm going to create videos about dynamic rollable security as well. Uh, if you like this video, go ahead and uh, subscribe to our YouTube channel. We will have more Power BI and AI videos uh, regularly. Thank you.